All right, let's continue Final Fantasy 16. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying so far. Clive just got Dad's armor, so <sighs> trying to lay low, but wearing Father's armor, it's fine. The Deadlands are aptly named. I didn't realize they were this close. No wonder their crops are failing. We'll play for a little bit. Light is leaching the ether from the soil. And when the last drop is drained, their fields will turn to this. No plants. No animals. No life. And no monsters. I suppose that's one small mercy. I wanted to pet Doggo, but it's not giving me the option now. You can. It is an option, but I guess maybe it's only after combat. Be able to use any magic here. Another thing to worry about. As if the absence of ether didn't cause enough problems. Take away the lad's life force. And problems are all that's left. But yeah, we're heading to hardly imagine what this place where is it all started, where the whole like <laughs> Game of Thrones style plot kind of unraveled. Time to discover the truth. What what exactly is he expecting to happen? Like, do they have some power to I guess we'll find out, but to see memories again. Surprised it hasn't aged more in like 13 years. It's almost as if time had stood still. I suppose no one had any cause to return here. It's just as I left it. Yeah, Laura. The Phoenix, apparently, got Laura. The Ward on the Fire, last seen on the night of the Imperial invasion of Phoenix Gate in the year 860, when the young Joshua Rosfield lost control of his powers. The Phoenix first awakened among the Motes of Fire, an ancient tribe who dwelled in the western reaches of Storm, and the careful preservation of bloodlines among the Rosarian ability ensured that its dominant would always be born in the Juicel line. Yeah, that whole like, royal family thing. Preserving the bloodline? Ugh. Let's have a look around. Buried memories. Could I have done this? Could anyone? What is it, Doggo? What is it, Doggo? Clive, 
alive. That's him. Oh boy. He's the only one who can tell me what happened. I have to know. Already with the confrontation of this, huh? Where is he? Nowhere to be seen. Damn it! He's like a bloody eel. What is this place anyway? Some sort of shrine. Oh, sorry. You've never been here before. This is the Hall of the Gate. The Gate? It's a relic of the Fallen. Only the Phoenix's dominant can open it. Hence the castle's name. This was where Joshua was supposed to... Yes. He would have stepped through this door the next morning and listened to the words of our ancestors. Would you have gone with him? No. The Apollo tree is holy ground. None but the dominant may enter. I and the other shields would have stood guard here and prayed for my brother's safe return. Where the hell did he go? Perhaps he went inside. He couldn't have. He'd need the power of the Phoenix. <laughs> it doesn't click for him. It's a fancy door mechanism. Thank you, Joshua. Are you sure about this? Never more. the gate. Let's see if this one opens. Could this place really be a fallen ruin? You could hardly call it a ruin. It's perfect. Like it was built yesterday. Have you ever seen anything like this? Observation, huh? <laughs> Doggo detects something. Oh boy. What do we do? The usual. There are, what are they? Fallen bug. Oh, that was quick. Alright, so non threatening it is. More 
trouble. What is that thing? <laughs> Defense ball. Get him! This must be what the fallen ruins were like before they fell. I like the eerie vibes in here. Probably new lore to read, so hang on, once we get out of this fight. Phoenix Gates, the remains of the fortress destroyed in the year 860, what came to be known as the Knight of Flames, the castle's invasion by the Sambraquois, assassins and the battle between the two icons of fire that arose in its wake. Ancient ruins lie beneath and are reached by means of underground pathway prior to Rosaria becoming an imperial province. The gate was of great importance to the people of the duchy, being the site of the rites of ancestral communion. Echo. Strange clockwork constructs, often encountered in fallen ruins. The question of whether or not they are truly alive is open to debate, as they do not appear to require water, nor do they feed on the flesh of their victims, as beasts do, and seemingly exist solely to protect their habitat from intruders. All echoes are encased in a protective plating that is made from the same material as the ruins and thus cannot be destroyed, though repeated blows will cause individual plates to dislodge and eventually causing the entire construct to collapse on itself. <laughs> so, okay, the material can't be destroyed, but the construct, like, I guess just a mess. going the right way. This thing is tanky. <laughs> These beam swords, though. Get him. Does any 
Did this make sense to you? None. Let's find the hooded man and leave. I got the feeling this is going to be like a multiverse thing. Bombs. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I want to mess around with something that's called a bomb, but all right, let's let's just see. Joshua have had to run this gauntlet too. No. At least not that I ever heard about. I imagine the Phoenix would receive a warmer welcome. Here we go again. Where will we end up this time? Surrounded by contraptions hell-bent on murdering us, I expect. Could the hooded man really have taken this path? We won't know until we've followed it all the way to the end. Come on, let's keep looking. I love the fancy doors, just how they open. <laughs> how tall are you? You know what to do, boy. Sick of toggle. There, boy. Nope. Too slow. Nope. Barely dodge that one. Get him, boy. Ah! My wounds, boy. Sick of toggle. A lot more of them came. Surprise that didn't hit me. Get him, boys. Okay, there we go. Okay. I'm gonna save up for uh, the wind special. That still keeps going with more of these. Oh, damn. The fight was about to end. Get him. Stay down. 
Hey. At least it's locking the doors behind me, so I know I'm heading in the right direction. All the doors look the same so far. I've been worried a couple times that I've been heading backwards. Also, the trail of new items does help. Big and tanky shouldn't be a problem. Oh, they're on cooldown. Crap. But you can't grab him. With... I mean, that kind of works. Oh damn, that was an extra long stagger. Press the attack. Oh, really? Ooh, this is... This is scary. <laughs> what? Is that like an insta-kill <laughs> if he gets that off? these creatures and why do they keep attacking us they're probably asking themselves the same thing we're the ones trespassing here they're just protecting their home Jill, look. Is that some kind of mural? It's worth a closer look, whatever it is. Wait, 
Wait, where are the stairs? Ah. Oh, the grab doesn't work. That was a quick stagger. Oh. Right, that's all my specials. Cycle through every single attack, attack I could. holds even more secrets than we thought. I'm surprised it can only hold four potions. I mean, not that I've needed more, but just... I mean, I guess if you're being constantly healed by the world... This area does look cool, but man, the rooms look very similar. <laughs> I'm hoping that I'm going in the right direction. Has the same the exact same confusion I have. I'm guessing lighting up beacons and all of them at once. Well, this is obvious now.
So, it isn't a dead end after all. Apparently not. What's in it? How old do you suppose this is? A thousand years? More? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it before. Who is that in the middle, do you think? Some sort of god. Oh. That's so eerie. That high pitch sound. The second dominant to fire. Who are you? It's going to be him. You. I am you. Yeah. <laughs> Scrunching. So it's just a manifestation of his mind. Oh shit. What? He blacked out and everything is on fire. Um. Yeah, okay, it's just clothes that belong to father. It's fine. Nothing new. I or is it's a vision. Back. Joshua! Jeez. Stop it! This brutal tech down. I, I, I did this. I killed him. Joshua chose me to be his shield. He gave me his blessing. Oh, jeez. To keep him safe. I should have protected him that day. It was my duty. Five. Joshua. Joshua died. I killed him. And I blamed another for what I did. To spare myself the guilt. I feared the Bai. Accepting it, I would lose what little was left of me. So I ran. From everything. And now? Are you ready to accept the truth? I am. 
I know it won't be easy, but it's what I must do. So that Joshua's soul can finally rest in peace. to expect here. Seems uh, heavily not in my favor, but okay. Again, that seems to be going better than I thought. I guess this is all in his head, so maybe it's like a symbolic battle and not something that should be taken too literally. We'll see where this is leading. Like, this is probably all in his head. <sighs> like a literal face, you're in it, demons. Oh. Your 
Oh, he's got different attacks to me. I guess if I leveled up some of these other abilities, I'd have them too. Does that mean I'm on the level? Alright, we'll see. That's a big what. You'd have me learn by example. Oh, so we're gonna be able to do that. Not this time. Come on, it still got me. <laughs> it one shot me. Damn. Okay, I gotta be more careful, huh? I see. You have me learn by example. <laughs> Are, are scary. This time. This time. Whoa, it's close. Yep, no, move. Be on, be on the edge of this. Do not go anywhere near the middle. Oh boy. With 
what dramatic thing is this gonna be? <laughs> no escape, eh? This is all in his head. It's all right. But I'm done running from you. Together. Oh shit. Accept the truth. Show yourself, you free. Oh, the epic music. All this is gonna be like cinematic blows. Clive, are you all right? Jill. He was here the whole time. I'll be fine.
No more chasing shadows. The hooded man isn't here. We should go. There's a hole over there. Are you sure you're all right? Whatever it is, you can tell me. <laughs> I had a hard enough time telling myself. I awakened as a dominant of fire, right here in this castle, and I've been running from it ever since. But now I know for certain who I really am. The second icon of fire, who killed my brother and burned this castle to the ground, was me, Ifrit. Clive. I took so many lives that night and destroyed so many more, including yours. And I must atone for the crimes I've committed, but not before I learn the whole truth. How can a second icon of fire even exist? And why was I chosen as its dominant? Who is the hooded man who brought us here? And what does he want? I need to know. And since I'm still breathing, I might as well make myself useful. We'll find your answers together. I want to learn the truth too. There'll be time enough for atonement when we're done. I was hoping you'd say that. I don't think I could do this without you. You never were one to hide from the truth, even when we were young. And you haven't changed a bit. You're wrong. I have changed. But I don't want to be that person anymore. The things she did were unforgivable. Hmm. And oh, because of the... the army thing. They're what brought us back together. Thank you, Jill. If he is here, then the disturbance I felt at the care must have been confounded. The hour is later than I thought. <laughs> what is that language? Meanwhile, at Castle Dusborg, a castle built within the dome like mountain uh, that contains Drake's Fang, it is the primary residence of Hugo Kupka. Dominance of Titan and is lavishly appointed to suit his extravagant tastes. Did he find out? Uh, Backstabia's death. Delivered. Who, who delivered the coffin said. He said Sid paid him. Jeez, dude. I let you run amok with the rest of your rats, and this is how you repay me? 
find out where he is. I'll crush him, flay him, rip out his heart, him and all his filthy brood, and send every last one of them to out. No! Yes, yes, my lord. The Necklace for Resend. The meaning of life. Okay. So now we have gained control of Ifrit's. Um, right, it's a trigger. Got it. So, what next? We returned to Eastpool. I promised the mayor I'd talk to him again. About Lady Hannah, amongst other things. Though she may be loath to leave. I can't help thinking she'd be safer with Sid, too. All right. Not we for long. Uh. Oh, so this is like expanded it. Should probably upgrade that sooner rather than later. Oh, it keeps going. Alright, but one upgrade's good. What is it? Nothing good, I'll wager. Come on. Doggo is always the first to know. Limit break. Remember our orders? No survivors. Oh jeez, no, the old man. There, boy. No limit break yet. I want to charge it up more. Save it for clearly what's going to be like a boss here. 
Oh no, that lady. I mean, until I hit a difficult enemy, I'm not going to use this. I see a little diamond there. It's going to be sad, isn't it? Just, okay. All oh man. Burn. The bearers and those who sheltered them. By Empress Annabella's command. Oh boy. Looks like our uh, mom's coming into the picture. Dude is tanky. I wonder if Mom has heard about us again. That might be why. And even in this, it's still not doing as much. There we go. on the orders of the Duchess, eh? We knew East Pole was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here, but someone must have let slip. If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. The way father embraced them. When the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. 
But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. Gav, we want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. We do. But it can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. He was always on it yet to join us. All right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? Oi! Can I wonder I if anyone survived. Take care of, things here? of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. When you're ready, then. And this just follows Clive wherever he goes, huh? Dun dun dun. Now, rats, lead me to your nest. Lord Kuka's message for your leader. If only he knew where to send it. Okay, hold on. Wife of Rodney Murdoch, Lord Commander. Yeah, a last time was also cut short at the hands of the villainous Emperor Empress. Ducal loyalists, those who maintain allegiance to the late Archduke Elwin and work for the revival of the fallen Duchy of Rosaria. After Rosaria was incorporated into the Empire, most swore their loyalty to their new Viserin, the Empress Annabella, even more converting after they saw how those who refused to change their allegiance were persecuted. This persecution was to only grow, culminating in the burning of Eastpool by Imperial troops on the pretext that their reluctance to surrender to Rosalith's bearers to the constabulary proved their uh, disloyalty to the throne. The term had a different meaning in the time before imperial occupation. Rosera was founded by the union of several small independent nations, each led by its own, by its own noble house. These houses remained powerful even after unification, sometimes leading to friction between the loyalists who argued for the Archduke's ultimate authority and the separatists who pushed for a return to autonomy. <laughs> I was just thinking, who's this guy? But I guess just generic minion number one. It looks like everything's disabled until you go home. Writing wrongs. To Sid Solar, then. We have a lot to discuss. I heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. Don't mind me. Just take it. This place is getting more crowded by the day. I tell myself the bustle's a blessing. There'll be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. So, did you find the answers you were looking for? I still don't know what to make of this... gift, curse, or whatever it is I've been given. But there is one thing I can say for certain. I am a dominant. Ifrit. And there is nothing I can do to change that. It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. <laughs> Spoken true. Forgiveness and in turn salvation can only begin with acceptance. It's a path we all must walk. No matter how colourful our histories. Sid, you once told me that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? 
for 13 years. Killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Lives that I see now were scarcely worth living. Be they bearers or beggars, most but march blindly to their end, never realizing that they too deserve a choice. And I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. So, atonement then, is it? That was the answer we found. The only one we need. I'll be expecting you both to pull your weight. <laughs> and we will. <laughs> well then, with a Welcome. sprinkle of fire and ice, this plan of mine might just work. <sighs> what trouble are you looking to get yourself into now? The best kind. We're going to sneak into the Imperial capital and pay a visit to Mother. <laughs> Mother. Eliar. The Holy Empire of Sandbrek, a nation occupying the northeastern reaches of the continent of Storm. With the great city of Oriflam as its capital, political power in the Empire technically resides within the Five Cardinals, but even they are bound to the whims of the Holy Emperor in those manners of the state in which it, he takes interest. In the year 860, at Empress Sylvester's behest, the Cardinals agreed upon a plan to liberate Rosaria from marauding forces of the Iron Kingdom, after which the Duchy had little choice but to bend the knee and become an imperial province. And this is Oriflam in that fancy castle. And the last of our farmholds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. Without their yield, we will be hard pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. If there is a capital by then, the black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but ball and bluster. If it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. Uh, if you mean the crystalline Dominion's holdings, we are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders we have sworn to respect. Gentlemen. Did we swear to see our people starve? Well, I really do think that. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I, 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 I'll just say so. <laughs> Old man talk. The gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? But instead of setting your minds to riddles such as these, you lock horns with an enemy from across the sea, sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. The Empire bleeds, and you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. And you fancy yourselves leaders of men. <laughs> Sandbreck is naught without her citizens. We are but their servants. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Your radiance! You cannot mean a war of conquest. That is exactly what I mean. It is time we expanded our dominion. This is the will of great Grieger. 
Oh, uh, there will be uproar. Then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? And what of our legions? Shall we raise the furs? Well, someone will have to contend with the Dalmex. I will not keep you. You all have much to do. <laughs> Jeez. Where is my son? The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Arthur. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again soon. As you command. I must have misheard. You mean to tell me that the Mother Crystals are the reason the world is dying? Are you mad? I have been called that on occasion, but no, not today. We've all seen it firsthand. Empty wastes where once were green meadows. Land drained so dry of its ether, not even the rats remained. But where was it all gone? I spent years searching for an answer, until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self-same crystals, we look to for their so-called blessing. They're draining the land. Take this crystal. It's not so far-fetched. Where does it get its energy? Answer, by drawing ambient ether from the air. Where do these crystals come from? That's easy. They're mined from the mother crystals. They're one and the same. Although, admittedly, this here fits more easily in the pocket. But the mother crystals are massive. Some as large as mountains. So you see the problem. Imagine just how much ether can be drawn by something that size. As to where it's all going, mind, well... I can't know everything, can I? We are taught that the Mother Crystals are divine. Their ether, a gift from the heavens. For centuries, nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift. If what you say is true, how did no one else see it? Who says they didn't? Maybe the truth was inconvenient. Inconvenient to whom, exactly? Ups, the gods themselves. So now you want to do something about the crystals? And what? We're not helping bearers and dominance anymore. I didn't say that. I made a promise and I intend to keep it. But if we continue down this path, there's only one fate that awaits the realm. And we can't very well set our people free if they're all lying dead in a blighted ditch. Not if we want to create a place where they can live on their own terms anyway. Sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down in order to build us a new one, what say you? Are you with me? I suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. Very <laughs> symbolic. You could have just said I. But it's nice to have you aboard all the same. <laughs> into 
I'm going to need more than a few potions for this. Okay, there's some side quests around. Don't mind me. Just <laughs> it's going to be like another food delivery one. Except now it's going to be in the state. No, okay. You've lost a letter. Nothing too important, I hope. Not just a letter. I lost everything. There's a hole in my damn pack, and fool that I am, I didn't bloody notice. It can't be that bad, surely. How could it be any worse? I'm a courier. I carry things. If I can't do my job right, then what am I good for? Nothing, that's what. I buggered it right up. That means no herbs for the infirmary, and no fresh meat for our cooking pots. Worst of all, that letter I lost? It was for Sid. A letter he's been waiting on for days. Maybe if you retrace your steps. I would scour storm from coast to coast if I could, but there are curse breakers in the field, counting on my arrival. No, I'll just have to own up to Otto and Sid. They're gonna skin me alive. Fine. Tell me where to look. <laughs> Are you serious? Thank you. Well, as Br begrudgingly like accepts that. Supplies. So, where should I start? Gotan's bales, perhaps? I took a tumble in the bushes when I was passing through. There's a chance my pack might have caught on something. If you can find everything I dropped, you'll be doing us all a favor. And if you can find Sid's letter, you'll be saving my life. If it's there, I'll find it. Wonderful. Now, I have to run if I'm to make my next delivery in time. I trust you can find your way to Gotan's bales. Oh, and hurry, will you? Sid doesn't like to be kept waiting. I'm sure he doesn't. The letter won't last very long out in the elements. I should make for Sambrek as soon as I can. Uh, map. Wait. Map. Alright, let's go do the side quest. I'm curious what this letter is. Alright, we're searching three different places. Oh, they're not that far away. The courier said his pack might have split while he was passing through the bales. I better keep my eyes open. Good. Looks like I'm in the right area. More of the lost supplies. This might be quicker than I thought it would be. <sighs> I doubt he could have fit much more in his pack. Still no sign of Sid's letter, though. I've come this far. Might as well ask around. Okay. A little overdressed to be picking grapes, aren't you? Are you here for Master Quentin? I'm looking for a letter someone dropped nearby. I don't suppose you've seen it. Can't say I have, sorry. Well, if you do... Wait, I did pass a dog with something in its mouth a little while back. Could have been a piece of paper. No idea if it was your letter, but you never know. A dog? Where did it go? Towards Lost Wing? Seemed well looked after to me. Dare say someone there's been feeding it. To the village then. Thank you. Alright, maybe it's not as quick as I thought it would be. But am I on my own? Oh no, they're both with me. Okay. Fine harvest this year. 
for you? Did Master Quint give me some of you? The shad's all salted and smoked. <laughs> Daughter. It seems we have our culprit. Sorry, boy. I thought I was going to growl and not let me. Oh. But he's waited long enough already. Hopefully this will keep our career out of trouble. Okay. Uh, that was straightforward. <laughs> I thought I'd have to bribe the dog or something. Otto barking at his lot earlier. Wanted to send a message. Maybe I should just. Oh. Well, there you are. I just got back to the hideaway, and thankfully Otto hasn't seen me yet. I, I don't suppose you, um. Found the things you dropped. I did. <laughs> I was so sure they'd be gone. The letter? Only a little worse for wear. Done. No more skulking about in the shadows for me then. <laughs> and all thanks to you. Losing those supplies is one thing, but if Sid had found out about that letter. Is it about curse breaker business? <sighs> if only. It's from his daughter. She's off studying in Canver, and her letters are all that keeps Sid sane while she's away. He never mentioned a daughter. Well, he's a busy man. And thanks to you, he won't be wasting his time smiting careless couriers with leaven boats. So I'd say you did us both a service. Here, for your troubles. If there's anything you're wanting from Sid, today's the day. He'll be sweet as honey once he gets his hands on this. Hmm. Maybe she'll come into play later. I was fully expecting another food delivery thing. I'm worried about my friend, you see. He left some time ago and hasn't returned. And you know what it's like out there for a bearer on his own. Why leave the safety of the hideaway? For coin. Sad though it is, our need outweighs the risk. The hideaway can't survive on goodwill alone. And though Karen does what she can, her coffers aren't bottomless. Wait. You were a soldier, were you not? In the Imperial Army? I was. Then, I ask a favor of you. I'm too old to be traipsing hither and yon. Will you go and find him for me? Sure. I'll do what I can. Oh, thank you. What can you tell me about your friend? His name is Randall, and I suspect you'll find him in Lost Wing. That's He's it. Been working for Quinton, the okay. tavern keeper. He'll know something, I'm sure. I'll speak to him. Safe travels, my friend. No one gives a description, like the hair color, how tall. It's always just vague. Ah, if it isn't Sid's young protege. 
To what do I owe the pleasure? I'm looking for a bearer called Randall. I hear he's been coming to you for work. He was expected back at the hideaway some time ago. A friend of his asked me to check on him. Randall, you say? The porter? Yes, yes, I know him. And I can't say I'm surprised if he has been delayed. I gave him enough to do. Though, thinking about it, he should probably have been back by now. I'll go and look for him. Where was he headed? He was to meet an associate of mine to the south of here, on Lorbert's Pass. I do hope nothing's happened to him. Be sure to let me know, Clive. Oh, that's not that far away. How many have I had? Sun setting fast. Yes, okay, just making sure. Could have been one of those situations where it's like not in the direction I'm heading. Probably see if I can upgrade any stuff. Just I don't know how you get materials. I, I mean, maybe I have to just grind and fight stuff. <sighs> you Randall. Are you all right? Or is this another quest? Thank the gods. You're one of us. We were attacked. Beast men on the road. Randall knew he didn't play the hero, but... Okay, there we go. The sod insisted on drawing him off. Where did this happen? Further down the road. In the clearing. Please. You have to see that he's safe. I'll do what I can. You go back to Lost Wing and tell Quentin what happened. That. Yeah, I mean, if I have to grind to get materials, and because I feel like I should be doing a little more damage than this. Oh, genuinely, like things are sponges. <laughs> Could just be sponge enemies. to the spot. Oh, no. Well. Sorry, Randall. Looks like I was too late. He doesn't deserve to rot by the roadside. 
I'll speak to Quentin. Why isn't it showing? Oh, that's why. Oh, I gotta like walk up. No. <laughs> that's fast travel. It's fine. Ah, there you are. My man told me what happened. And? I can't help but notice you're alone. Damn it. I feared as much. He's not far from the South Gate. I trust you'll do right by him. Of course. I'll send someone right away. Jeez, that monotone voice. I knew he was brave. No, I didn't know he was reckless. Poor fool. Had you known him long? A while. I liked the fact that he didn't shy away from dangerous work. And he liked what I paid. Because it helped keep the hideaway afloat. I'll tell Sid what happened here. I expect he'll be none too pleased to learn of Randall's fate. And I suppose you're none too happy either. For your trouble. I think that's everything. Okay, I'm gonna put it here so we're ready. All right, I gotta leave it here for tonight, chat. It's uh, it's getting late and it's a Sunday, so time for me to call it. But I do hope you've been enjoying Final Fantasy 16 so far. We'll do a longer session of it next time, but yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's it's fun, and it's just nice to kick back with a story sometimes. So we'll uh, we'll do more of it for sure. Anyway, if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end. And, uh, hope you did enjoy yourself as well, and if you want to support the content here, just, uh, be sure to do the button clicky thing. Or maybe two videos have popped up on your screen and you want to watch more stuff that I have. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone.